seems to stop and, and go back again. But it doesn't. It goes all the way around. It's an optical illusion. But even though you, you tell me, my eyes still won't believe it. Well, let's attach a bar to the framework and see what'll happen. The trapezoid still appears to move back and forth, but the bar goes around. No, I'm really mixed up. Our brain still interprets the visual image in terms of past experience. The yellow scarf hung on a short wire from one end of the trapezoid moves around in a ghost-like circle. I'll never trust another trapezoid. The demonstrations you have just seen were devised by the scientist Adelbert Ames. While they are amusing illusions, they are much more than that, for they demonstrate some rather profound psychological principles involved in all of man's experience. They show that our experience is much more than a simple reaction to something outside, and that we have to learn through our own past behavior the significance of the impressions our sense organs bring to us. Suspension of disbelief, a willingness to suspend one's critical faculties and believe the unbelievable, sacrifice of realism and logic for the sake of enjoyment. In the same way that an aesthetic tricks our bodies into not feeling pain, our ability to suspend disbelief tricks the mind into not accepting reality itself. At its very best, suspension of disbelief can lead to inspiration that changes the world, and at its absolute worst, can lead humanity to its doom, smiling all the way planet Earth about to be recycled. Either way, we can't survive without it. And the new reality of the world requires us to have a finely tuned ability to suspend disbelief. See through those who would exploit it and listen to those who are using it to communicate valuable new ideas. We want you to leave this party with a new outlook on the future and a boost to the power of your own mind.